your gas station mic? First of all, this is not a gas station mic, bitch. <laughs> this bitch is expensive. This bitch is $100. $200? Oh, 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 oh. What, 60 80 That bitch was $79. So the, expensive, the most expensive thing you bought was this camera. And this computer. We know what the second one is. Two. You can't afford it. I don't like that. how y'all use my own shit. <laughs> you gotta use it. I think that's the best shit I came up with. I think so too. Probably. I'm trying to see if I can see myself. In the eyes of an angel. <laughs> 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 she just tell you that just you know what? Don't give girl kid a promotion, leave your bitch ass. No. Wow. <laughs> Since we going there. <laughs> Since that's what we're going. That's 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 foul. That's don't don't treat that. If you watching this, don't treat it. <laughs> Remember I was here before the link. <laughs> before you was making cheese, okay? Bitch, but to the Small Town Marv podcast or STMP. You already know, man. I'm Small Town Marv. I'm your host, and I'm back with these two guys right over here, man. So why don't y'all, let me, let me let me introduce these guys. First, on my left, I got Chris. Chris, all right, Chris, shout you out, bro. What's, what's the deal? Chris, shit, it's my first podcast with bro. Y'all make sure don't be some hoes and subscribe to this channel. All right, what's your Instagram? You throw your IG out there. IG, it's got a bunch of fucking letters. That's great. Right. Drop that bitch. I'm gonna it's, put it on the screen. It's it's K R I C E, and there's like a bunch of E's, but you'll see the fucking same hat in the picture, bro. And you'll see me. Yep, you'll see him. And then to my left, he already been here. You already know my main man's Tyrone. You know. Maybe you know my shit in the first one. It, the motherfucker posted. So what's your IG? They already got that. Once no, 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 no. Once no. he purchased the phone, <laughs> no, no, he dropped no, the no, IG. No, no, no. He no, dropped no. the IG. What's the IG? No, no. If he stopped being late to post the first one, you would know the IG is in there. <laughs> he on some bullshit. Y'all could just follow me because I forgot to drop it too. At Small Town Marv. Actually, look, I'm going to make a new Instagram. I'm going to just drop that bitch. It ain't going to be at Small Town Marv. Because y'all niggas don't even follow me and y'all don't be on my shit anyway. So fuck y'all, but not fuck y'all. Right, you know I what I'm saying? Don't follow that nigga because he ain't want to tell us his IG. <laughs> Your IG still you can get no likes anyway. So don't follow that nigga. <laughs> don't follow him. Don't follow Chris. Like Fuck me. them. Follow me like and bro, like this bitch. About? Subscribe. Wait, you talking about not to follow me? What did I do? You so saying shit. How many likes you think I get? Is my question. You don't get no likes. <laughs> that wasn't my question. No, 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 no. what I'm saying is was, you don't get no likes. Uh, once again. <laughs> Look, How many likes do you think I get? Not enough. What's not enough? Not enough for me. How much do you get? <laughs> I'm about to make a new. Oh, I'm about to make a new gram. So once I make that bitch, mm-hmm. I'm gonna get all the likes. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, we're gonna see. I'm not about to play with this nigga. I'm not about to play with this nigga. But you already know why I got this podcast, man. I'm in it for worldviews, but before we even talk about all of that, because I like other people with different mindsets, how they grew up, everything. That that bitch bad. That bitch bad. But but anyways. <laughs> look, I like people with different worldviews. People grow up different. People experience different shit. That's why I brought my man. Chris here, Tyrone, oh, I'm trying to do my shit. Let me work. She's got a twist, sister. You're not getting her. You have a girl. 
I'm dropping this. So I'm not editing that out. He got a girl. He he over here on some little shit. I, I uh, can look. Mm. You just can't touch. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheating. Oh, Anyways, I like people with different worldviews. Obviously, I got Tyrone. He grew up around me. You know what I'm saying? So we kind of got the same, but a little bit different off to the left. But I got Chris here. You grew up uh, where, Chris? Because, I, like I said, different worldviews. You grew up differently. Before we even jump into the topics, I want to introduce you to the audience. You know what I'm saying? And we want to get the feel of your life. So I want to get to know your worldview before we even jump into the touchy topics I got today. Yeah, so where you so, where you grew up at? So like it was weird. Like I was back and forth at my grandma's house. Um, rest in peace, Granny. By the way, um, I was at her rest shit peace. all the time. She pretty my grandma pretty much raised me because my parents were never home for real. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not mad at my parents. Like my parents did what they could. It was just it was it was a complicated situation. So like my grandma lived in Royal Oak, um, and that's really where that's really where I grew up for real. Like really? my grandma, yeah, pretty much. So no really street violence over there, none of that. Well, well obviously not. Well, obviously not. <laughs> but, not. but like, bro, like I've 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 seen some shit because like my uncles and my cousins, like my uncle uh, had been in and out of jail for drug possession, and yeah, I I used to be around a lot of junkies type shit. You feel me? Like okay, okay, I was yeah. like I was young as fuck being around something I wasn't supposed to, but. Like, and, you know, my cousin, he, he was going through some stuff, too. I ain't gonna mention no names, but, like, he was just, he got on a bad track with bad people. So, what you're saying is, uh, so you grew up in Royal Oak, and you saying, basically, yeah, you grew up in a good side of town, but you've also seen the worst of shit, too. Absolutely. Even though you grew up, okay, okay, I'm, yeah. I'm get okay, so, I get all of that, okay, so we're gonna move in a different direction. I wanna know... How do you feel, per se? Like, what is your worldview? Like, how do you see the world? Do you see it as, like, fucked up, not going to change? Do you see it ever changing in a positive way? Do you feel like it is what it is? Like, how, how do you feel about how the world is moving as, like, I guess us as, like, a, like, how do you feel about, like, people in the universe or people on, like, this planet? Like, how do you feel about us, like, moving in, like, a, like I guess, upward position or downward position? How do you view everything going on now and just in the planet, just our planet? Well, really, I think the biggest thing is is that there's always room for growth and there's always room for people to improve. It's just you got to have the right mindset to improve because some people, things will happen to people and people will be complain about it and do nothing about it. Okay. Then you got people who use that as motivation like to work harder and to become bigger and more successful. But as far as like, as a planet and things going on in the world, I think the world's just fucked up altogether. Like, okay. they're, but. What do you think is fucked up? Okay. But, but listen, but this is, this, this is what I'm saying. For example, like, you know, like how all the fires are going on, like in the environment, like we're like, you know, destroying like animals' homes and wondering why they're, we're seeing fucking all these animals in our neighborhoods that aren't supposed to have no business here. Or be an extinction. Exactly. Yeah. And like, you know, with obviously with this pandemic, you know, it's it it's like a lot of countries have got have made much more improvement mm -hmm. than here. Yeah. But the biggest thing I will say is is that there is still a lot of positivity but also negative stuff going on. Like when, you know, the protests were going on back like last summer, mm -hmm. like it was very, like with people, there's always two different sides of views. There was never a, a gray area. It was either you was with the movement or, or you were completely it. against it. Me, I was all for it because you know what I'm saying? Like my grandma brought me up to not look at people differently just because they look different than you. See, and hold on, hold on. See, that's taught, niggas. That's taught. Anyways, call your shit. Yeah, he's right. I mean, Shit, my grandma, like, my grandma, she always told me it, it it don't matter what they look like, what they believe in, what they've been through. If they love and respect you, you need to do the same thing for them. And that's just how I've always been raised. See, that's, that's real nigga shit. So what I got from that is you see that we as people, we always have room to grow, what you said. But you said, yeah, we do have room to grow, but shit is fucked up. But amongst that, all that fucked up shit... 
there's some negative shit that's really bad, and but there's some positive shit amongst the whole fucked up shit. So we're all amongst the dome, but the fucked up shit, but it's split like this, but it's just classified as fucked up. And I, I get that, but what you saying was really, we like we could really grow and do shit. It's just people don't never want to come together. They don't want to come together, and that, that's really what it's like right now. I feel like it is a a black and a white thing. Like yeah, I feel 100%. like it's a, it's like a it's like a complete race war. Believe it or not, even it is. It's getting it back. Is. It's getting back how like it used to be back in the day. But like I feel like more now than ever, it's getting like blank. Like they're giving out white people are giving out more blank disrespect towards black people. One hundred percent. And 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 to reel you into this topic, which is our first topic of the day, so let's get into it. Um. Man, if you talking about if we're talking about blank disrespect for our first topic, let's talk about that attack on the White House. Let's talk about them white people storming the Capitol, getting in that ditch with ease. No one died. Nobody was arrested, mace, nothing, tear gas, nothing. But look at me. Look at me. I want the camera to get here. If they was brown, they look like me. Probably even him. Cause you know, white people don't fuck with you neither. You, you, you know, I ain't about to say, what she mixed with? Italian and Indian. He, oh, you black. He the red man. Yeah, yeah. it is. It is. It's, it's, you even got a, my, my granddad. I'm looking syringe of black head. My, my granddad was full blooded Native American. Oh, they he's one you. of us. Yeah. Why you think he hang with niggas? <laughs> white people just don't <laughs> like him. He, they a, don't, I swear, bro. They, they don't. There's a reason. He's he, one of us. He, see, even if he was, you know, if they, if he, if it was him, you know him. He, he, that's nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm <laughs> nigga too. Yeah, yeah. pop my ass. So I step on motherfucking grass. Bob, man, be like nappy fro. <laughs> it's take it. Oh, this nigga too goddamn big. Shoot his ass. <laughs> yeah, like I really feel like that shit really unfair. Like white people was like, what's so bad about that? Whoop de whoop. When have you ever seen black people storm anywhere, especially the government property, and not do like right. and not get arrested? Like we was even peacefully protesting, and we got tear gas, hit with rubber bullets, all types of shit. But y'all niggas could go with a president at, we, or congressman at, we. yeah, yeah, that nigga no playing problem. peacefully, no chilling. Problem. Yeah, no issue, no climbing the shit. They they look feet up on the desk like this. In the Oval Office. What the fuck? Who can? Look. White people can do it. That's who can do it. Not niggas. White people. But, since they got to hear how I feel about it, how you feel about it, Chris? I personally 100% agree with what you're saying. If the the Black Lives Matter movement last year, in the summer, when the whole, you know, what really, what really gave the gas to the fire was the George Floyd incident. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace, George Floyd, too. But that was a, I feel like that was the the big the, a big eye open. I feel like that was the icing on the cake. For That's for you feel me? Yeah. Like, and then like for example, like you know, there's thousands of innocent black men and women getting arrested for minding their business, while this is a state, I mean not state, a federal building that is supposed to be the most powerful person in our nation, mm -hmm. and they just broke in. With no type of, there was no animosity from the police. There was nothing. Oh, All they got, they let, they let them walk. They walked them out. If there was somebody of color to break in there, there would you would have found on like Fox News, CNN, you would have seen body found dead, this and that. They would, guess, nigga, all it kinds of it shit. would have been kill confirmed. That's, nigga, that's, they would have. That's what I'm saying. Ha, he ain't gone. Ha, hit him again. Double tap your dumb and, ass. And the and the fuck part is, is the there is this one lady that went viral for something. That I guess she got tear gas or something, or like oh say her name this and that. She went out of her way to go to the Capitol building to break in. What the fuck you? You, were you expecting to get in there completely fine? Obviously, because it's the white privilege thing that everyone talks about. And by me having white family, yes, it does exist. For pe for these white people out here that say that it does not exist, it 110% does. Because if you've seen, just for example, the protests last summer versus the Capitol riots, or whatever you want to call them, look at the difference. You see the violence from last from um, from last summer, but let me get to that. The violence was started by the police, hundred percent. 
because they were they were asking for equal rights, simple rights that should have been a thing years ago, but it just some people are just so stuck in the past that they don't want to move past that, and they just want to move exactly how their ancestors will listen. They need to spread equality, and they need to do that amongst everyone. Otherwise, as the United States, we're technically not united if we all can't come together. First of all, white people not coming together with us. That's Shit. the point I was making. I'm a, yeah, I know, I know, but I'm, I'm just here to tell you that. But how do you feel about it, Tyrone? Um, really, I mean, what do you say? I mean, they say we all equal. We ain't. It's just like white people can do shit and get away with shit, but I don't. I don't get it. Like what type of shit? I just don't like do? like simple like simple like court wise. Why? Because I'm black. I'm guilty to prove I'm innocent. But when you're white, you're innocent to prove I'm guilty. No, if we're equal. If I'm if I'm in, I'm innocent to prove I'm guilty, just like you are. Shouldn't be the other way around. It's not equal here. We don't get the same rights as others. We don't get the same job opportunities as others. I feel like if I got my niggas with me and I shoot a nigga. And they get all of us. But then that same incident happened with some white people. They better grab all them niggas. Right. It should, but I shouldn't have to. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be. I'm riding with a group of friends. We all black. We get pulled up just because I look like we're up to something. Because it's multiple African American males in the vehicle. That's bullshit. I don't like that. So. I feel. No, I don't. No. So. If you're watching this, you white. Oh well. Sucks. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's like no hard feelings. I love that, like that's, people, what that's just how I feel. Hey, I fuck with y'all, but like you know, we gotta keep it a buck with y'all because y'all really be out of pocket. There's there's things like so there's the white people who who will sit there and believe in the fact that nothing should be changed. It's fine the way it is. For example, like you said, if there's a car full of the white people, they're gonna let them off with a warning. But if if it was some black folks in the whip, they're you're, they're pulling out. They're reaching to their to their holster for their gun just because they feel their life is in danger. But let's let's keep it a buck. That's not every cop though. We've been pulled over. No, no, no. Okay, but look, let me rephrase. But that we not we not even talking about that. That's not that's a whole different yeah right. conversation. But like yeah, I get what you mean. Like like white people think it's not a problem. We think it's a problem. In history, it shows you somebody feels like they're right. It doesn't matter who it is. Just who has more power is the one who's going to reign over the other person. That's just what it is. And white people have more power than black people, which means they're going to reign over us. They brought us here, put us down economically, um, constitutionally, and that's where we're at. And that's why they can do that. That's why it happens. Because it, it's in law and it's taught and they just think it's right. And that's if all they know and it's in Britain. Of course they gonna fucking do it. Yeah. They damn sure ain't walking around getting searched. Yeah, because if it was if it was up to me, I would put y'all under me and just so y'all see how that shit feel. I'm all about that type of shit. You gotta you gotta feel me. But let's let's get into this other topic though. Let's get into topic number two. The impeachment of Donald Trump. And impeach that nigga I think a couple days before inauguration? Nah, before he had to get the fuck on. I mean Look, I don't, I don't, I don't like Donald Trump, hundred percent. Bro, wasn't that bad to me? Like, don't get me wrong. Every, every president do good shit. Everybody besides the, the White House. Shit. Okay, yeah. Besides like, every president do good shit. You know, everybody. I feel like every president fifty fifty. You do something good, you fuck something up. And that's just yeah. how I feel like it go. You can't be me. Good. Me personally, I think Donald Trump wasn't a bad president. It's just, I think he was a bad speaker, the way he dialected shit and tell people how this gonna go. I just think if he was a better speaker, he wouldn't have been that bad to me. So you feel like he was delivering shit the wrong yeah, way? Yeah, like, he didn't explain shit the proper way. This just don't sound right. He just needs to stop trying to do what the fuck he feel he needs to do. Cause, um, but he the president, ain't that's what you can do? You should have ever fucking want to do? To a certain extent. This is just certain shit that you know you shouldn't do, like. Like what? What? What did he do like, that he should? Besides the, let's start at the 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 the, uh, the wall. He could. He could. See, look. First of all, we already knew that shit wouldn't happen. Cause how the fuck you gonna make somebody else pay for some shit? That doesn't make sense. One, and that'd have been a waste of money. Cause if they built it, you think they weren't gonna build underground shit to come through it anyway? <laughs> Bro, there's always Mexican cartels who gonna come through regardless. Exactly. So you was just wasting money. Plus, it's a free country. Anybody can come the fuck over here anyway. They can. 
People get smuggled over here all the time. The fuck? Just like drugs get smuggled over here. Smoke. No white girl. Yeah, the the the. There's too many people over here with no green card. Bye. <laughs> and they still my homies, nigga. Shout out to y'all. All Mexican right. people. You know what I'm saying? Don't get caught. Yeah, yeah. Don't get caught. <laughs> but Chris, how you how you feel about the impeachment on Donald Trump? I, I feel Tyrone. He said he felt like he wasn't he wasn't that bad, but hey, I guess it was his time to go, right? Yeah. But that shit, he had to go, yeah. Oh, bro, bro, I'm about to get fucked with them charges, though. You mm. ain't president no more. It's steep. Hell, man. But what's up, Chris? How you so, feel about that? I personally was never a supporter of him. I never really... I never really get into politics just because of the fact that it always leads to arguments and it always leads to people falling out over different beliefs. But me, personally, I thought that it was time for him to go. It was time for him to go. I rise. like, like, like... The, the riot at the Capitol was really what put the cherry on the top. It was like, he did a he did a bunch of, like Tyrone said, he did a bunch of, like, he said a bunch of shit that was probably not directed the correct way. Or, like, he didn't, he didn't, uh, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, he didn't show himself, like, like, with no empathy, like, nothing. Like, it was more like, it was more like, okay, I'm full of wealth. Fuck it. I'm, I'm over everybody. Yeah. Nobody can tell me what to do. That's pretty much how I thought he carried himself. But he's a businessman. That's how businessmen that's, carry themselves. I know, but well, I, I'm not saying nothing about him no, being a businessman. Okay. I'm talking about. But I'm saying like that's what that's what these white people wanted. That's what they saw. That's what he was, and that's just who he is. And that's what they got. Well, yeah, no, and that's just the thing that I just didn't like. Oh, you didn't like the business side of him, so you want somebody that's. Well, because if you're a, if you're the leader of the country, you're supposed to represent our country. And to me personally, I just didn't think. Think it was a goof. He's like, that'd be shitty. He was, I mean, I'm not, I mean, per personally, me, like, I, I feel like Donald Trump, like, yeah, he did, he did, like I said, the, the, the economy went up, so he was doing good there, you know what I'm saying, but he was also doing some bullshit. Honestly, real shit, I don't think he was that bad of a president. I hated him because he came right after Obama, and we let a black thing, you know what I'm saying? You felt some type of power when he was in office, but like when he got out, it was like a huge energy shift because Donald Trump is just like, who the fuck is this goof? But you can't get mad at that man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, that, I don't know nobody to say. Obama did his motherfucking thing. Obama did his 100%. shit, but Trump, I'm not gonna lie, he did his shit, but up until this, because with the wall shit, he was bugging, he was, he was, he was bugging, he was blowing me with that shit. But with that, with that whole White House shit, I really feel like it was his time to go, and I'm kind of glad. They got him to fuck up out of here. Actually, before then, he was sparking up some other shit, some Melissa shit, some other shit that was supposed to pop off, and that nigga was been supposed to be sent the fuck home. But now, it's, oh my God, these black people like, what the fuck is this? NBA speaking about, what the fuck is this? Now y'all want to get that nigga to fuck up out of here because higher up people with money is now saying shit. Because when the higher up people with money who actually fuck with black people get to barking at you, then it's some ruffling the feathers and it's some issues. Because now it's like our kind is being bugged. Let's do something about it. I look at shit that type of way. Like it's, it's oh, shit don't change until motherfuckers with some money say something. With some money, when money is power. When you don't have no money, bro, you just chirp, chirp. They ain't gonna fuck what you saying. But when you got money, you chirping the wrong way or the real shit, they cancel you. All right, bro. Let me have, let me just shut him up. Real quick. Yeah, let me let me boop, get him canceled. But when you got a foundation around you and you got your money, they can't. Dave Chappelle. Okay. Anyway, so let's we we heard all our topics about that about the impeachment of the, the Trump, the Trumpy, the orange man. Shouts out to you. Shouts out to Trump, bro. I'm pretty sure you gonna have cheese, bro. You might get locked up off some charges, but you'll be straight. You know what I'm saying? You got money. Your your bitch ugly though. I'm just just keeping it buck. Just keeping it buck. You, um, you let Kwame out. Flux with you. Yeah, yeah. You like. He ain't shit, he stole money. But yeah, I was about to say, I don't fuck with Tommy. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, wasn't, he wasn't really all that, but you know, he didn't get to see. But let's get into this next topic, topic three. Let's talk about split America. How America is really split. Like how black people live these lives and white people live these lives. Of course, you got the foreigners who are in the middle, the green area. That'd be you. That'd be you. But you kind of. <laughs> but it's like because you in the green, you're not with the blue with the white people. You in the red with the black people. So it's like you over here too. So it's like you you with us because they don't fuck with you. So you foreign, but you're not black, but they like, ugh. Ugh. He's with them. Both people. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they. So honestly, I don't know how white people feel. Not that I give a fuck, but there is a split America. 
white people do walk down this line of privilege. Yeah, they do. Like, white people are very privileged. You can get away with a lot of shit. You can get all these opportunities that we don't get. Mm-hmm. We got to we gotta fight harder. We got to work harder. We got to do all these things. We got to duck and dodge even in these streets, even when you're not in a dangerous spot because cops be looking at you like you're doing some dangerous shit. It's just a bunch of shit. You really got to dodge as, like, an African-American. You, like, and to be honest, these days you have to march and shit to, like, even back in the day, we still doing the same shit just to march for equal, like, rights and equality. I feel like, and I want white people to really listen to this. Do y'all feel how, like, do y'all know how fucked up that is? I'm a human being. I bleed the same way. I can read. I can write. I can speak English. Whatever. But y'all are just given these rights. I'm the same as y'all, but I'm just a little tanner, a little cooler, my dick a little bigger. You know what I'm saying? My credit score a little lower. But because of that, I can't, I, I'm, I'm not giving the same shit y'all are giving. I have to march for that. Why the fuck do I need to stand in the street with a picket sign saying, give me my rights when y'all can just have them bitches? Right. What makes me disqualified from getting my motherfucking rights like y'all give them? You know, I'm, get the blicking niggas, then it's a problem. Yeah, we get the, we get the shoot niggas and violence, and I'm going to be honest, like, and I'm going to say, I don't give a fuck how people feel, but I'm going to say this. I feel like there's no way to get through white people, like, even verbally, even when you go, like, in your education bag and you educate them on some shit, they still feel like, and white people do this, I think it's called white fragility. You start talking about black problems and then they, they feel offended, like, oh my God, oh my God, don't talk about that and you're offending me. I'm offending because bitch is touching somewhere. It's touching and you feel, you now feel you're getting that it's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I really, I really, I don't hate white people, but it's really starting to get on my motherfucking nerves. Why do we got to live this life but y'all live, y'all live, okay, we, we live down the bumpy road, the fucked up street. Y'all got to slip and slide down y'all fucking street and y'all, hooray, it's just going right down that bitch. That shit be pissing me off and then y'all whine and crying, y'all so mentally weak, but yeah, we got to be physically, mentally strong, all types of shit, just to drag through the mud and live a regular life. That same life that y'all just walk past and just go towards the privileged side because y'all white and it's just so annoying to me. And it's pissing me off, and it pisses me off that a lot of y'all people don't understand, and y'all don't see that this thing exists. It fucking does. I get looked at the wrong way. I get side all types of shit because I'm brown. We live in a dip, bro. Like white girls don't get all these motherfuckers don't get tickets. I get pulled. I get a ticket for show. I from show getting that bitch. Shit is really like, it, bro. This shit blows me. That stuff is like that. But I'm not gonna get into it. I'm gonna get emotional. I'm gonna get pissed off. But. How do you feel about split America? Do you feel like we we have a split America? Is there like black people live this, you know, foreigners live this, and then white people live this? How do you feel? I agree 100%. There's two different Americas. I look at it as what America tries to do. They try to show the people of color. They try to label them as with poverty, you know, growing up in dangerous areas. Mm-hmm. And they give this white people this glorious, like, background that we can do anything we want. We can this and that, and which in 99% of cases is true, because when you look at it statistically, there could be an, a, a black man with his child just walking down the street going to get some ice cream or something, mm-hmm. and then next you know you can see him on the news just because of the fact that he was in a nicer neighborhood, and to me personally that's completely double standard, because then say like for example, like 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 a white person can go in like a dangerous area. And then they feel like that they can just do anything they want there. And then next thing you know, people, then they want to bitch and moan because they got popped up or something. Like, or they got their ass beat because they was at the wrong place at the wrong time. But you got to understand, you're bitching and moaning because you went out of your way to go somewhere where you're not familiar with. But just because you see a black folk in nicer areas, that right, yeah. doesn't mean that they don't live there because they could you never you don't know if that person has if he has a house right down the street from there. Yeah, you don't you know if I got cheese they right? like, like they could have worked their way however they got their money that's their business. But selling drug. But the point is that they made it out, you should be happy for them. You shouldn't you shouldn't give them that they're like, oh I feel I feel intimidated or I'm scared because he's living in my neighborhood. Then that's 
the sad the sad part about it that's the realistic idea of how our country is. I agree. Tyrone, how you how you talking him summing it up? Who, him? Yes. No, he's not. He's not. Something like just giving his opinion. How, how you feel about I it? I mean, me personally, I feel like they should, like, I feel like white people should just, like, need to learn poverty. So they need like, to I feel broke. like they need to, like, I feel like for them to understand where we come from, you have to experience. Like, you notice broke white motherfuckers understand what broke niggas go through. Okay, so they, so you feel like broke broke white people can kind of touch bases on what the niggas Oh, yes. Yeah. You know. Because what the struggle is. Yeah, because rich white people also call broke white people white trash. And it's exactly. Mad. They treat them like niggas, so, like they ain't shit. I yeah. I don't think since because you grew up with money, you should have a say so on how someone else is living. That's just me. You, I, Like he said, you, you shouldn't judge a book off somebody because I can be a, a black man that's successful that live right next door to your ass. But since I'm black, you just gonna assume that I'm a thug, I'm gonna kill all of this and that. And that's exactly. not the case. Not all exactly. black people it's violent. Y'all just live by this stereotype that we all like this when we're not. True. Bingo. You're not. I'm nice, okay? And then I get mad, okay? Just like that now in our neighborhood. She just walk your ass across grass, they looking at you like, oh. The fuck you doing? The fuck you doing over here? They tell you, no, you need to go back on over back across grass, big dog. They do be doing that. And white people, bro, like, y'all are really like, I, I love white people, but I'm going to say this about y'all before we get into the next topic. Y'all ain't shit. Y'all like, y'all realize, y'all like, y'all kind of outcast even y'all own race, like broke white people. Y'all outcast them the way y'all do niggas and foreigners and all this. But y'all realize that every rich white person, or actually all of y'all, y'all were fucking nobodies, broke ass motherfuckers from England. Do y'all know that? I'm pretty sure y'all don't know that because y'all probably don't know y'all history. But y'all was some fucking nobodies. But you came here. Y'all got y'all whatever. Y'all made a name for yourself or just gave y'all whatever. And then now y'all got this status where y'all just feel like y'all great and y'all can put anybody else under y'all. Y'all ain't shit. I ain't lying. Y'all ain't got that whole indentured servitude shit. Y'all put other white people, well, Irish people, Scottish people, whatever. Still white people. Y'all put them to work like slaves. But they just didn't get the worst treatment like we did. But Yeah, they couldn't. They couldn't brand them. They still had big rights. Yeah, they still had their rights. They still running the fucking way. But... Let's hop into let's hop let's hop into topic number three. Three ski. Three. Let's talk about them trying to make the COVID nineteen vaccine mandatory, like the, like the flu vaccine and HPV shit that you get every year. I really feel like, first of all, let me just say this. That's bullshit. They got me fucked up. Yeah. I'm not feeling that. Anymore. How the fuck? This bitch already killing motherfuckers. That bitch just made somebody tongue swell up out right. their mouth. So, okay, because all, all vaccines is, is dead bacteria from the actual shit anyway. Yeah. So you think you finna inject it so my body can fight off and possibly die? You got me it's so fucked up. You had to earn that one. I had to get my flu shot to work and do, you know, the spittle one shit, nigga. I was feeling weak as fuck because that bitch get your ass to flu. I was like, bro, I'm not feeling it. Kobe wanted to earn this one. Yeah, bro, COVID yeah. gonna have to, that bitch gonna have to take me, bro, because I'm not taking no fucking vaccine. Y'all just made that bitch. Why the fuck y'all gonna make it mandatory? Y'all gonna kill everybody and be like, well, fuck it, whoever make it, superhumans. Basically. I'm not fucking taking that shit. Y'all got me fucked up. Bro, them old people ain't gonna make it. They not gonna make it. I don't know about these young people, and I'm not having, my tongue ain't about to be swelling up on my mouth. You can fucking, bro, you will choke on your own shit and die. I ain't probably ain't got side effects on the shit yet trying to make shit mandatory. It's just popping up with all types of different side effects. They like, I'm not about to die, bro. I'm that's it's the, you gotta earn this, like you gotta yeah. earn it. I'm sorry, doctors, bro. Y'all gonna have to y'all have to put some fucking some pixie I, dust in that bitch or something. I do this quickly. I ain't taking it. You can take me. I do my time. I gotta get out eventually. That's what I'm saying. I'm not doing it. If they fire me from my job, I go get a different job. It's steep. I'm no. I'd be broke. No. I was finna lie. Yeah, I'm not. He said I was finna lie. Don't do that. You, 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 you ain't gonna be no broke ass niggas for that shit. You gonna be like, I was finna lie. He's like, he's like, shit, we talking blue Benjis and shit. So, I don't think about it. So if they made it mandatory like that, where you couldn't work at any job, would you still do it? That's that's a very like. You need money. Yeah, because if you ain't got money, you ain't got shit. You ain't got a lick, so it's more like... You better rob, you better like, lick. It's either... It's like a hit or miss, really. 
really you better just take your chance, honestly. That's, take your chance. That's basically what they lead it up to, is like, I don't know. I personally, like, so, coming from someone who's work, like, who's working in healthcare, that's all that's talked about at work a lot. Mm-hmm. So, like, like, specifically where I work, I know you work at the hospital, so it's, yeah, I don't know what, what goes on there. I don't work there, you know. But our boss has told us that it is not mandatory because, number one, HIPAA rule, you have, as, as a patient, you have every right to deny something because of the fact that if you are not comfortable with something being done on your body, you have every right to reject it. And the only way they can make it like mandatory is if, now, I don't know what's in that vaccine. Nobody knows who's in the vac- what's in the vaccine except for the scientists and whoever made it. But me personally, I just think that it, it really shouldn't be mandatory because, for example, with all these side effects and stuff like that, like, because so for some people, like, don't get the flu shot. Like, I don't even get that shit. Yeah, but the, no. that's the difference. Like, but, this is different from the flu. Yeah. No, but what I'm saying is is that I feel like as a human being and for your own health concerns, if you are too concerned or you don't feel comfortable getting the vaccine, I feel like that you should be mandated to get it. Do you feel like the government in this world give a fuck about how you feel? Not at all. But So what what makes you think that they won't make that mandatory considering it's out here killing people and you have to close stuff down and closing? Because you got to think about it. Who runs the world? White people, white rich men, white businesses. Their businesses are losing out on money. So if those niggas can touch bases on the niggas who making the vaccine, like, yo, if you make that shit mandatory and they talk to the government niggas who think about it, white people, connections, people, bop, 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 make shit happen. It people make sh- y'all gotta look at it like that. Stuff gets stuff gets happening when white people get together and be like, we got an issue. So they got an issue with this fucking vaccine. The government like, all right, we gonna make that bitch mandatory. It's gonna make these. It's gonna make the motherfuckers. As people die, so fucking what? But everybody gonna be vaccinated. People gonna be fine. No more coronavirus. Both businesses. Everybody straight. No more masks. Every, 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 everything's thriving. Think about it like that. You don't think they'll do that? That's exactly how they go. Well, it just brings back, now that it's when he said that, it just brings back like, you know, we ain't slave time, but think about it. The weak, they kill off. The best and the strongest, they go on, reproduce. Yes. It's just the same it's, 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 it's more like, like, I was just saying that the fact that, it, I feel as though it's like a, like a human right thing. But as far as a government thing, and like far as like getting the economy back, whatever, I can hundred, I hundred percent agree that they can easily make it mandatory <laughs> because they can look at it as that'll kill the that'll kill the pandemic. No more masks will have to be worn, and their businesses will start making businesses will start making more money. So that I can clearly see where you're going with that. I was just saying as a basic human right thing. Oh, you were saying basically as a human we should have that right. To yeah, not but have to. I'm saying we should have that right, and people should have a lot of things. But does it always go that way? Absolutely not. Fuck no, because. That the world don't care about us. Absolutely and not. The government doesn't care about us. They never care about us. Well, become Canadian. You don't want to move over there. Canadians ain't shit. I really like. You don't want to be Canadian. Right? <laughs> they got some hoes over there. That ain't the point. <laughs> he said. He said that. That ain't the point. That's what we treat like. I matter. <laughs> I'm sick. I'm but, sick. But see, the problem is, is, is see, see the things in Canada too is free health care. I don't think I'm mad anywhere. But you the, don't. The taxes are way higher. <laughs> you don't. You know fucked up that? I don't matter anywhere. <laughs> like, no, bro. They look at you not even because you black, but because you American. They be like, ugh, American. Right. Motherfuckers don't even like American. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, you American? Nah, you're not even cool for real. <laughs> like, damn. God, like, can't you give me a chance at all? Yeah, like, I ain't do shit. But let's 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 swing into these other these last two topics. Cause we had some, we had we had some shit to discuss, and I like how we was talking in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? You you, you kind of come in slow, but you get that that juicy little middle. You know, get that shit really sparking. But we gonna talk about some sentimental shit. We gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna, we gonna touch base or over here. Okay, 
Let me and I've been I've been reading and I've been reading this love book. You know, I can say I'm corny or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Niggas soft. Yeah, that's catching yourself on love. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to see what's up about the. I'm trying to see what's up with women for real. I'm trying to see what's really going on in their mind. Like what that book at? Cause you, I've, been you waiting, I've been waiting on this goddamn day because I'm so sick of y'all bullshit ass logic. Man, honestly, that book talks about logic. It talks about how we go about shit because we about to talk about thoughts and stuff on marriage and relationships. But before I talk about that, the book talks about how, and I'm going to just say this. The one thing that it states in the book is a man's job in marriage is to protect her mentally, physically, and financially. They said she shouldn't have to work and she shouldn't have to pay bills. That's our job. Where the f They said it's... And all you bring is pussy to table? No! No! <laughs> it don't make sense! She bring reproduction. That's the best, like, that... Like, like, alright, let's keep it to that level. I'm not saying that all a girl can bring is reproduction, but in the spiritual world, in reality, really... Y'all here to make babies. That's so, just that's what it is. Yeah, I'm not so some, I bust my ass to get ass. That that's how they work. It's fucked. Look, look, it's fucked look, up. It, it might sound fucked up. Yeah, it might. But that's really how it go. I bust my ass for some ass. Okay, so you brand new ass. Since this is ass, used ass. ass, 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 ass this is you been passed this <laughs> ass to Derek from down the street, Mark from out of town. But I'm busting my ass for the used. That's your wife. I get it. That's your wife. You can't. I, I love her, but I'm just that, that that look. All right, since you already on the hot on the subject, the high, yeah. What is what is <laughs> what is your thoughts on marriage and your present relationships? I'm talking about relationships, friendships, and also touch on marriage. Start with start with friendships, go to relationships, and then move to marriage. Like, for, like, like, what are your thoughts on your friendships? Like, do you with think women? No, like friendship with guys, or just friends. Period. Like, do you feel like friends come and go? Do you feel like shit sticks around? Like, I think with friends, I don't think they come and go. It's more like with friends, it's more like it's like how we is. We all cool. We just do our own thing. But it's, it's like if you over here bullshitting, and I'm trying to afford myself. Yes, nine out of ten, you're getting left. That's how you, cause motherfuckers like to hold motherfuckers back from what they're doing. I so if you that. over here fucking around, and I'm over here fucking with you with the bullshit you're doing, no, cause you know how many people you leave a nigga alone, you see your blessings progress, and then he mad because he's still over here bullshitting, okay, and yeah. he not where you at, and then when you try to put him on, say I hate motherfuckers, oh you don't put me on, I put you on, and you still. Bullshit. Yeah, you can't pull a nigga. Why do I feel like I know what you're talking about? Uh, no, I'm, no, this is in general. Oh, okay, okay. This is okay, a general okay. thing. I'm just saying, like, you can't be bullshit and expect good out of life. That's just not how that goes. You got to work hard. Like, no channel. Like, you, bro, you're not finna mooch off me at all. Yeah, no, I'm not I'm not dealing with that. I can see if my man's that had an accident, like, where he can't do some shit. And he's like, yeah, bro, yeah. yeah. Then that's, you know what I'm saying? That's completely fine. But if you capable of working and doing shit and getting out on your own, you better fucking do that shit. I'm not about to hold a nigga hand. We fucking grown. I'm not doing nigga. You're capable. We both got our nigga. We already black in America, nigga. That's hard enough. I'm not yeah. gonna hold your fucking hand. I can't. Success. I can't bust your ass three, four times harder. I already gotta work two times harder. What the fuck? I what can't hold another nigga up. What I can do is help you get a job. It's up to you. You can take it in. Take it and work and proceed and do other shit. Cause you gotta learn, bro. Niggas just get jobs and don't learn about other shit. When you get a certain job, you need to. Work on getting a better job after you get that job. You need to be working on connections, this and that. Getting with people, talking about other shit. Niggas don't be doing Niggas just be quiet. I be talking, nigga. I want to know shit. I be talking to everybody. Yeah, like, what's good? What's, what's going on over here? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's good? What's going on over here? I see niggas, you know, and you just talk You talk that shit how you supposed to, bro. But niggas, niggas feel like they shouldn't do that shit. I already live rough enough, bro. I stay in a fucking townhouse. I'm not. I deserve a better life. And I really will get a better life. That nigga said I deserve a better life. No, I completely agree with you, nigga. I feel like everybody deserves a better life, bro. We gonna work towards that bitch. But, okay, so how do you... You said, okay, so you touched on friends. How do you feel about relationships? Because you said friends, you know, we fuck with each other. But, you know what I'm saying? I think, I think like, from my, my view on friends, but I ain't gonna get into that. It's differently. But how do you feel about the relationships? You don't have to go into deep detail about your relationship. But how do you feel about relationships... In your 20s, because okay. we 20. So, like, speaking as a 20 year old in a relationship, currently, 
ain't gonna talk about my relationship, but I feel like relationship base is 50-50. And I feel like women should stop putting men on a high ass pedestal. No, not saying women don't don't lower your expectations. Your expectations are your expectations. But don't hold him to a high ass standard that he's never going to fucking meet. And then, I mean, and then, like, you got to work hard towards it. Like, you can't expect him to put in all the work and you don't do nothing at all. It, a relationship don't work that way. And motherfuckers got to start taking the blame and responsibility for themselves. You fuck up, it's your fuck up. Admit to your fuck up. Don't, I fucked up. And then you blame him for you fucking up or you cheat because he was doing this. Oh, he busts his ass too much. I don't give him enough attention. I'm sorry. It's either you get a broke nigga with a lot of attention. You get a nigga that have money with little lack of attention. You pick one, you deal with it. It's all about sacrificing relationships. It's simply how I go. Talk your shit. Hey, Chris, you. okay, so how do you feel about, yeah, before I get to Chris, how do you feel about marriage now? Because you, you know what I'm saying? We're in our 20s. Relationships, you say you feel like shit 50-50. You got to step up. Just like, I got to step up. We got to meet in the middle. That's how shit supposed to be. How do you feel about marriage? So we both, if motherfucker, not me and you, but if motherfuckers can meet in the middle, how do you feel about marriage? Because your mind is like, if a girl can do this, I'm going to do that. So how do you feel about marriage? So once that happened, you feel like you could do that? Yes, yeah. No, I'm asking you. Oh, you got to repeat it because I don't. I ain't okay. I was you high? Too. No, you I, high. I just... You high? high. You, you over there? You high? I'm too busy. You over there? Look at him. Look at him. No, no, I was too busy watching this shit. I'm sick. I'm sick. Okay, so you said that it's all about, you know, people got to be 50-50. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Girl, dude, whatever. I mean, yeah. So... If a girl can meet me in the middle, and I gotta meet her in the middle, and she can do that, and I can do that, do you feel like you can do marriage? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Mar I think, I believe in marriage, but one thing I don't like about marriage, I feel like the other person shouldn't be able to mooch off the other person's success. Not saying, like, if you've been here since the bottom, and to come up, okay, my baby, you deserve half why I half, give you half. half? Why half? Why not half? You deserve Why half? Because you, you ain't worth Okay, well, I'll take that back. I wouldn't even say half. I see, I feel like if you hear from the from the bottom up, I feel like he should be able to pick a price and pay you that, and that's it. Okay, okay, okay. But the fact that a nigga literally busts his ass from birth to a man, and you just come in like, I ain't feeling no more, and you split shit straight down the middle. You take half of his shit. So now, my baby, you straight. You gonna be another nigga. Mm -hmm. So now he over here sitting here rebuilding himself. So I gotta start from scratch to work myself up again to be the woman, and she might pull the same shit. Now you broke her. Now you now got you got you twenty you got twenty five percent now. Right. Good. And then motherfuckers get mad with prenups. Prenup is not a bad thing. Prenup is to protect a man's financial status. That's all that is. You're not finna you not finna fuck around and end up taking all my shit. That's not how that's going. If you love her like that, are you still signing a prenup? Yes. That's just how I'm love. Let me wrong. So like, right now. I feel like Right you know, now, you with Stephanie. Yes. Yes. Prenup time. Me personally, love, love is just a feeling. You show more loyalty than love. That's just how I go. Okay. Love is an action, a word, that's it. Talk your loyalty shit. shows love. It's that simple. He talking about he talking some shit. Okay, I see we All right, Chris, your turn. How do you feel about friendships? He he he, he talked this shit. He did. He did. He, 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 he got. He got the okay? he, 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 he said he said I at least got to drop a couple on niggas, man. Like, that, that that's the shit. He should that he should be on this more because he be he be with he me. Definitely he definitely talking shit. He, could, on that he could talk that. Definitely. He could go over here. You just gotta get that nigga warm, man. He get it. So. Yeah. Nah, it's your turn, nigga. How do you feel about friendships, nigga? Like in your twenties, nigga, because you older than me. You what? Twenty one? Mm -hmm. Yep, you were, you one year older than me. Probably two and a half, probably. But whatever. Anyways, how do you feel about friendships, man? Do you really feel like they last? Do you feel like they matter? Do you feel like just fuck it? Like how do you feel? Hey, what's good, Darius? You wanna come in and poke, poke your head in here? We in here podcast. You wanna? I'm kind of tired. I, I just got. I just walked in from work. So do that, Darius. Yeah, my nigga Darius in the building. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, that can't even see me. What, what's up, people? Y'all heard my voice, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop his YouTube channel in the and right here below my fucking hand, right here. And yeah, y'all go sub to that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. Follow me on Instagram. So I'm gonna drop that below too. Don't 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 sleep. Yeah, we we'll highlight you in a minute. We about to we about to finish up here. We just got a couple. What y'all talking about here? 
Uh, All friend, that, I just got done talking my shit about relationships. Yeah, friendships, relationships, marriage. Oh, I really can't dip in that right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was uh-huh. gonna say, I just thought about it and I was like, nah, yeah, I can't I'm, do that. Type of a, All y'all niggas took. I can't. It's wait. a different time. Hey. All right, but all right. Off camera. Yeah. <laughs> Off camera. Yeah, yeah. Off camera. All right, Chris. How do you feel about friendships, man? You already, already discussed whatever. But how do you feel about these friendships, man? So, I look at it as, as with friendships, the biggest thing is, is that, like what he said, you gotta look at progression. If you're with, if you have people around that have the same ambition and same goals that you're trying to create, then are the people you need to keep in your circle. But if you're trying to progress and do better things with your life and mature and grow more as an adult, there will still be them people you got to leave behind. And it's nothing personal. It's just the fact that if they're sitting around bullshit and they're not doing what they're supposed to do as an adult, you need to leave them behind because then at one point, you're going to be stuck back in their position with them. And now look at you, you miserable. Yeah, you stuck around because you're loyal, whatever you want to call it. But if you're still stuck back with that person who's fucking around and... You are in, you are you are that you are literally becoming that person because of the fact that you want to progress but you stay back because you have loyalty and love for the person but at the end of the day you've always got to put yourself first no matter what That's whether right. whether it's with the job whether it's with your own health whatever whatever it comes down to you always got to put yourself first because at the end of the day, who's got to go to bed at night with shit over your shoulders? You. So you, something that's going on with your man's or whatever. At the end of the day, you have to sleep with the decisions you make. You can't sit there and lollygag and act like it's a fucking joke and that we're still in high school trying to hang out all the time, do all this. Like, we've grown. Like, we, got, we have jobs, we have bills, we have responsibilities. You can't fucking surround yourself with someone who's on bullshit, who does... But usually people who are on bullshit don't have, don't have not gone through the same things you went through. Because a lot of times people will get shit handed to them... So they don't work, they bullshit around, they do what they want. But then you gotta realize mommy and daddy ain't taking care of you forever. Your mom and daddy ain't gonna be here forever. So you gotta get up off your ass, do something about it, and make sure that you are supplying yourself because you might accidentally knock a bitch up or a bitch might get pregnant. Then how are you gonna feed that kid with no job or no income? You, the, the baby's gonna go hungry or you gotta do whatever The baby's not gonna go hungry, nigga. You know, you know what it's called? Food stamps, nigga. Yeah, Wait, listen, nigga, what you know listen. about the, 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 no, what you know about the cornflakes and the Cheerios, nigga, no sugar, nigga. Damn, listen, EB, bro. Yes, listen. listen, what you know about the food stamps, nigga, bro, the whole to... party, nigga, that hit the first. Bro, you're that, missing the, the point whole I'm party trying to make. That hit on the first. See, what you know bro. about the stamp, bro, you're missing the point <laughs> I'm making. You are missing the point I'm making. The 200 for 400 stamps. Bro, that's what not you know my about the stamps? Bro, that's not my point. This man, this man yells at me before I can even finish the point I was trying to make. Bro, what you know about the stamps, bro? Bro, my point is that you got to be able to support yourself before you can bring someone else in the world. Yeah, so what you're saying is hook up the food stamps before you nut it. Well, if that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. But you can't get the food stamps to after you nut it. I, bro, I'm... T- I'm just, just saying. scoop the relationship, though. Yeah, yeah, just throw the whole shit. Okay, so how do you, <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, but I, I heard you, though. So how do you feel about, you're not in a relationship, unfortunately. No, no. But it's okay, you know what I'm saying? Fuck these bitches, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But shout out to my girlfriend, lady. You know what I'm saying? But uh, uh, how do you feel about relationships? Since you're not in one. You want me and in one, so we can. You want to know how I really feel? How do you feel? Talk your shit! I thought he was about to try to let go for a second. He got real. He got real. That's my shit. If you watch my reaction, that, that's what I did. Yeah, Goku. I just, I just, I yell like random times. Uh, you, you shit. most definitely do. I will say that. Mm-hmm. But like relationships, really, like it's very hard because people go through different things in relationships. But one thing I will say is, is though you, when you get the right person, you know. And, like, the thing is, is, like, my grandma always taught me that the person who loves you and the person who's going to stay with you is the person who's going to be there with you when you have nothing. And the same, they're going to be the same person when you have something. So, if, if you have... Stop the grandma. If, if I can I know someone can be the one, say, for example, I give my doctor whatever, whatever, whoopsie whoop. I get that. 
I want to make sure that the girl that was there for me when I didn't have shit is still there with me when I'm when I'm successful and when I have nice things because materials is the biggest issue with today's generation. If 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 a if she's not fucking with the if if the guy isn't making fast money nine times out of ten that bitch ain't gonna pay you no attention unless she really like you for real. And and I'm just being honest, it like the thing is is that it's all about. Oh, he's got to have this. He's got to have that. But they're never saying how they want to get treated. They're only saying what they want. So what I mean is that they want all these Birkin bags. They want these shoes. They want this. They want that. But what they're not doing is that they're, they don't care if they get treated like shit as long as they have nice things. So you feel like in relationships, girls are just wanting materialistic shit. They're not. I'm not saying wanting. all of them. I'm no, not. but I'm, I'm saying you said some girls, some girls want this and that. They're not. How they used to be when girls wanted to be treated good and be cared for and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm definitely, I definitely hear. And do you feel like they? Do you feel like relationships work though? Like, do you feel like boy and a girl really want? To, like, do you feel like shit could work or like relationships is just like no good? If I feel as though relationships will 100 percent work if you both communicate and you trust each other and you're loyal to each other behind their back. I feel like it'll work 100 percent, but. The biggest issue is is the is the biggest issue is temptations. Be Commitment. Exactly because because you could be with somebody. Commitment. Like I've seen it happen, bro. You could be with somebody for five plus years, and all of a sudden they get a temptation to see somebody that might look better than their other person, or like they might have more money or whatever it is. Then they got that temptation, like okay, maybe my partner won't find out. The next thing they find out, relationship falls apart. Flipped so. at 80 for a 20, though the 20 was going to be at 80. That's stupid, bro. You should have left it, bro. Because even though you might have been looking at your girl, you might have looked at her like a 20 and the other girl was at 80. Really, that girl was at 80. And that bitch was just a false 80 looking like a 20 for real. So they don't know men logic. They don't. Like, they think you just like ass and tees. I'm sorry. I need a mental game. Yeah, you gotta be that's a smart bitch. 100%, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent not. But how do you feel about marriage, Chris? Because you you said you know it could work if they really put their minds to it, really communicate and shit, and you know with the commitment and all that. But how do you feel about marriage? You feel like that shit work? I feel like marriage is one of the most controversial things because you have people who are so against it, and you have people who are like in marriages and it works fine. But really, I personally think that marriage is pretty, it's like, it's obviously a commitment, another whole another step of commitment you have to make. Because once you're married, you're technically with that person for the rest of your life. But does it work like that? No. Because people get married and split up like a year later. Leave that and, bitch. And Leave because I personally think, like like how what bro said, where he was like, he was like, oh, the, the prenup and shit. Listen. If you a grown ass man and you feel as though you need to sign a prenup, sign the fucking prenup because you can bust your ass your whole life and then say y'all don't work out for something stupid, y'all get a divorce and she just have to shit you work your ass off your whole life for. So I personally think I agree with that. Now, a lot of girls will disagree with that, but obviously they're going to disagree because they will get that you're happy. But I'm not saying all girls are fishy like that because they're not. But marriages can't work. My my grandparents were together for forty plus years. Mm -hmm. So like, you know what? Really like both like, cause my my grandfather, my mom's father passed away when I was three. But they they've been together. They was together for forty plus years. So like, it it, it does work. You gotta think about the generation. Though. That's that's what I was about to say. The like, generation was clearly. The generation different. back then was brought up completely differently than how we're being brought up today. And and a lot of times it's, it's it's really because nowadays the biggest issue is social media. <clears throat> because social media now is so easy to hide people. Because you can be with somebody and the next thing you go hang with somebody. For example, iPhones, you can turn your, your notifications off. You can put in do not disturb. You can put people in certain messages under files, whatever. Mm -hmm. I, it's been done to me several times. So... So, <laughs> so, what I'm saying is, is that it's too, it's, nowadays it's too easy to have an affair on somebody because of the fact that we have social media. I agree. Okay, so, 
How I feel about friendships is this. I lost a bunch of them. And I know I have, and it be like that sometimes. Certain people I didn't want to lose. Certain people I let them go because fuck you. But what I can say is it does take two people just like it takes two people in a relationship. Like if we cool, like we don't need to talk every day. We talked about this today too on the phone and shit. Like um, we don't need to talk every day. We don't need to kick it every day. But every now and then I'm expecting either me or you to kind of touch base because once it goes so long, I'm talking about a year, two years. Right? I don't. It's like we not, to me, as a nigga, I'm telling y'all like, if I don't talk to you like that, we not cool like that no more. Unless you're one of those niggas who I talk to and like, you're like sectioned away. So like, case in point, I ain't even gonna say his, I ain't gonna say his name. I'm gonna just say, you know, D-Pesos, whatever, you know. I ain't even asking him to drop him in the, in the podcast, so I'm gonna just say his name, whatever his rap name. So him, we cool, but I don't have to talk to him every year. You know what I'm saying? Like, when me and him touch base, it's about school. It's on a different level type shit. So, like, we connect there. So, like, we cool there. But I know me and him are always going to be cool. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't on it. But that's not with everybody. You have certain connections with certain other people that you don't have with them other people. So, in a friendship, sometimes some people need to text you every other day to be your, to be cool. Like, And then other people... Can text you every month, y'all still cool. And some people don't, and then you lose them because they wasn't one of them friends who could hit you up every month or two. They need to be the weeklies. You know what I'm saying? So everybody has like a spot. And then to move forward into the relationship, I have now in this relationship, and I can tell y'all this, and I can say this on camera, and if you my ex and you seeing this, I don't give a fuck. It is what it is, bitches. Um I'm now trying fully in this relationship, and I can say, if you try, this nigga, if you try, yes. and she tries, that shit gonna work. But if she not interested in you, and you not interested in her, and you got ties with other bitches, or this and that, that shit is for sure not gonna work. Because it take two to tango, like, y'all... You can feel it in the air spiritually when y'all connected too. If you don't feel no connection right there, that bitch ain't for you. And sorry, bitch, that nigga ain't for you. That's like, let's just start keeping it above. If that ain't there, bro, it's not gonna be it. Relationships can work. And oftentimes they do, but something like often they fucking they fuck up and you go get somebody else. They really do. And another thing, I'm gonna touch on this with relationships. Real shit. Y'all niggas and y'all bitches, look. Stop. I get we get in our feelings and cry and shit when we break up with somebody we love. Okay, that's fine. I do the same shit. But look at it like this because this is the real shit nobody wants to fucking say. Yeah, we're going to cry, but we're going to fucking find somebody else and be happy and taking pictures and all of that with this other bitch just like you're going to be with that other nigga. You know what I'm saying? You don't want that, but that's how shit going to be when you move on from that person if that happens. You know, if y'all break up and that shit happens. That's literally what happens. Go on your phone and look in your gallery. You don't see that shit. Look how many bitches you were standing next to with. Look how many bitches you got on your phone and you laying up with. Yes. And then look who the bitch you got now. Yes, bro. It's, it's like that. What's going on with y'all, man? STM back at it. I'm going to just clean up what I was doing in the podcast because my camera, it low-key died. And my storage got full, so I it like literally stopped recording right there at that hour and two minute mark so if y'all watch the video the whole hour and two minutes man salute to y'all man shout out to y'all y'all get this video a like y'all also subscribe and i appreciate y'all now what i was saying and what i couldn't finish in the podcast because like i said it died ran out of storage or whatever but i forgot to touch on this last aspect and the last part before i was gonna close and wrap everything up um what i was gonna say about marriage is truthfully I do feel like in my heart that I do feel like marriage can work if the girl is all about him and the guy is all about her. Like it's all 50 50, like in a relationship, but it takes more, more effort than our relationship because y'all about to be married. Y'all lives are about to collide. You know what I'm saying? So like y'all, y'all really have to put forth that effort. And if you really want it, like you say you do, then you'll do it. And the, the prenup thing Tyrone was talking about. I do feel them. I, I do feel like guys shouldn't be fucked and all of that. But I feel like if you truly love a woman, you wouldn't be like, yeah, if you don't sign that prenup, we not getting married. If you really love a girl, bro, fuck it. Like you like money is whatever, bro. It's about her heart, to be honest. It's all about her. You just want her. Fuck the money. You know what I'm saying? Money can't buy her. So it's like 
you'll you'll do that. So that's that's my closing thoughts on that on that on that on that um the friends relationships and marriage part. Those were that was the last topic I covered, and this is my opinion on it. I just thought I should finish it, you know, because I just thought. Well, I leave it blank, man. I, I want y'all to know how I feel. Now, this was the STMP, the Small Town Marv podcast. Y'all go ahead and get this video a like again. Y'all comment what y'all like, what y'all don't. If y'all want to see more, who y'all want to see on. And y'all also subscribe, man. Join the family, man. On the road to 1K. We doing podcasts at least one time a week, man. I'm not going to tell y'all when I'm dropping it. I'm going to just drop it. So y'all stay tuned. Y'all also go follow me on Instagram at the real Marv Zero. Just a zero after that. Follow me. Also follow follow Tyrone. I, I'm going to drop I'm gonna drop all our Instagrams in the link below, in the description below. So y'all check us out. Also add me on Snapchat at Small Town Marv. One, not just Small Town Marv, Small Town Marv, one, the number one. And I add y'all back, man. Y'all follow me. Y'all stay up, man. Doing more videos, man. Y'all stay with me. We're going to be at 1K soon. Ha! <laughs>